Now, as we have discussed about the routing of the events, here we are going to see direct events. For those learners who has not worked with any of the GUI applications so far and directly wants to learn WPF, I'm showing you this particular video so that you can get an idea that how to work with a basic event handling in the .NET programming. So here we have direct events which means like if you are putting the event handler or event listener on a particular button so it will be affected for that particular control only which is the default way of any event handling approach. So let's see a practical implementation where I will take some controls and will put some default events to those controls. So let's see a practical implementation now. Now here for the direct event what I'm going to do it's a very simple example where I'm just taking a button I'll drag it, I'll, I can resize it as I shown you early in earlier videos and now what I'll do, I'll just change the content say hello alright and now to generate the handler I'll just double click over the button like this and now I got button underscore click so here I can write any message like message box dot show if you are not familiar with the Windows application so it will just simply say welcome to WPF application alright so it's like that simple when you will click the button there's an event generator where I find in the click event button underscore click method should be invoked and right here in the code file we have button underscore click method with object center routed event arc. since here we are not going through the routing it's the direct event but yes obviously in coming to videos we are going to have a look for those so here as soon as you will click you will get this message so let's execute this one I will click over it and you will get the message as simple as that now one more thing if you don't want to go for the default event like every control has a default like if you will take a drop down list the selected item change means if you change the element that is the default event for it similarly for a button button click is the default event but if you want to change that you can come to the properties and right here you can see the events so here you have a big list of all the available events for a particular control you can simply go for them alright like here you have all the routed events you can simply click any of them like uh, let me see let me say mouse move or maybe if there is something called hover yeah enter so let's say I want to uh, execute this mouse enter so when I enter the mouse over the window over this particular button what I want I want to just change the content like button dot content is equal to mouse entered alright so let's execute it now so now there are a couple of events mouse entered you see the text got changed and when I click welcome to WPF application Alright, so these are the things which you can associate with the direct events in WPF.